welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called First OBE. Many of the people I write about have been given the honor OBE, but what is it and when did it start? The history of the United Kingdom is rich with cultural heritage, military prowess, and distinguished achievements. Embedded within this legacy is the Order of the British Empire, the OBE, an honorary award that pays homage to exceptional contributions across various fields. Established in 1917, the OBE stands as a testament to the dedication, excellence and service of individuals who have gone above and beyond to make a lasting impact on society. The first OBE was presented on this day, 25th of August, 1917. The inception of the Order of the British Empire dates back to the First World War. In the midst of a conflict that reshaped the global landscape, King George V sought to recognise the efforts and contributions of civilians and military personnel. Thus, on June 4th, 1917, he established the Order of the British Empire as a means to honour those who rendered distinguished service in various sectors. The Order of the British Empire is renowned for its symbolic significance. It is not only a recognition of individual achievements, but also an acknowledgement of the collective progress of British society. The Order consists of five classes, each denoting a different level of achievement and contribution. These classes are in ascending order. 1. Member of the Order of the British Empire, the MBE. 2. Officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE. 3. Commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE. 4. Knight or Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, a KBE or a DBE, and five, Knight or Dame Grand Cross of the Order of the British Empire, the GBE. The Order celebrates accomplishments across various fields, including arts and sciences, public service, charitable work, and military service, among others. 
The process of awarding the OBE involves a meticulous evaluation of an individual's accomplishments and their impact on society. Nominations often come from members of the public, government officials and organisations. A committee carefully reviews each nomination to ensure that it aligns with the values and objectives of the order. Over the years, the OBE has evolved to reflect the changing dynamics of British society. It has been bestowed upon individuals whose contributions extend beyond national borders, fostering diplomatic relations and global collaboration. The diversity of recipients showcases the far-reaching impact of the order, transcending traditional boundaries and embracing innovation and progress. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.